The eclipse is going to be an incredible event. We had just like the appetizer in October, which was the so-called annular or ring of fire eclipse. The total eclipse is going to be far better. That total eclipse coming to Texas in about two months. People are making plans as to where they want to be to see this once in a lifetime event, including the students over at UTSA and the staff. A UTSA professor of astrophysics explains the importance of wearing solar eclipse glasses during this big event. On April 8th of this year, the path of a rare total solar eclipse will pass through Texas, including parts of San Antonio and the Hill Country. During a total solar eclipse, the entire sun is covered for several minutes, making it appear dark outside. Many people are going to be coming to our hometown, San Antonio, and they're going to be coming to a lot of hometowns around this city to get a view of this amazing natural phenomenon. UTSA working with city leaders to host an event for the public. They are finalizing those plans. UTSA professor Chris Packham says when viewing the eclipse, keep yourself safe and enjoy the view by wearing solar eclipse glasses. These glasses block out most of the energy of the sun and allow you to see the eclipse safely. So when we're in the phases before totality, you must be using this and indeed after totality. Well, this incredibly exciting time, not, not just for me personally, but also for really central Texas in, in general. I've, I've had friends of mine from uh, Del Rio all the way to uh, Fort Worth tell me about uh, how excited they are to, for, for this opportunity to see the eclipse. The last total solar eclipse was on August 21st, 2017. And remember, KSAT 12 is your eclipse authority. And Justin Horn and the rest of the weather team will have complete coverage on April 8th. And, of course, a lot of stories about the eclipse. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.